and hello everyone welcome back to a new video so we have heard about normal strings so you know x is equal to and then hello we have heard about if strings so hello and then maybe another variable and now we are learning about r strings r strings are pretty nice so let me first show you an example of a normal string before we go to r strings so if we print and we can actually just use print, we don't need to use a variable, but you can put it inside of a variable, just like with everything, I believe you should know that by now. So we can go here, R, and actually just normal string, hello, world, it's me again. If we were to print this normal string out, we would get hello tab world, and then on a new line, it's me again. These are called escape characters. I believe we have covered them a little bit in the past. Now, an R string is very nice because let's say you need these escape characters. Of course, there are ways to escape them normally, but the easiest way to do that is just to use an R string. Use an R string and boom. Now it's hello slash T world slash N, it's me again. So R string allows you to escape escape characters. <laughs> So let's say you need to print out, you need to explain how backslash n works to someone. So one way you can do it, as you can say, and if you can just remove that, you can go and say, this creates a new line. Do that, run that, as you can see, this backslash n, this creates a new line. Or, or just bear with me, you can say r, backslash in that will also do the same thing of course yeah, you can do this like with a doc string if you wanted to and it would still work so if you wanted to do an entire thing slash t creates tab run that and as you can see slash t creates tab of course, that tab shouldn't really be there. If we do that, then it won't be. So yeah, R is pretty nice. And yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you all again in the next video.